Hello there Bato YouTube, just coming at you with a uh, long overdue video here. It's been about one year that I've been stacking and uh, as is customary, it is time to do my one year full stack video. So here we go, we got it all laid out here on the table. This took a little while to set up as you guys are well aware. And, uh, you know, it was actually a lot of fun going back through my stack and laying it all out and organizing it and remembering uh, quite a few things that I forgot I had purchased and, uh, um, you know, or, like I said, organizing it and uh, putting similar things together and trying to make a uh, presentation here that kind of makes sense. All right, so let's start in the back. All right, so uh, of course, American Silver Eagles are uh, the de facto standard of uh, stacking. Everybody has them, and uh, so do I. I got about, uh, I think there's 86 of them right there. So that's pretty cool. Uh, next to those, we have um, 104 liver tads. We've got four tubes and some loose ones. Most of those are 2015s. I think I got a couple 2016s as well. Next to that, we got a hundred Australian, uh, Austrian rather, um, Philharmonics. Uh, not my particular favorite, but uh, I think I paid like 70 cents over spot for those. So those were a pretty good deal. And a uh, hundred hundred of those. Next to that, we have some of these uh, Canadian ones. These are, uh, let's see, which one is this? Oh yeah, that's the Bigfoot. I have a, a tube and a couple of those. Uh, next to that, I have the uh, Grizzly. I have a tube and a couple of those. Let's see. Oh, I have these one and a half ounce Bisons. I bought, um, a tube and a couple of those for both 2015 and 16. Uh, those are the only years that they're made so far. So uh, they're not particularly uh, hot, I don't think, but I actually kind of like them because they're one and a quarter ounces. They're really thick. And I think they're kind of interesting. Um, right here is the Canadian Birds of Prey. I got uh, a tube plus one of the owl, and I just have a tube of... Uh, the other ones, it's this one. This is the uh, red tail. Uh, this one's the peregrine. And this is the eagle by de default. Uh, I really like this uh, 25th anniversary uh, Canadian maple leaf. Um, I got a tube and then one extra of that. Um, these were going like, like hotcakes at one point in time. So I bought a bunch of these. I bought 55 of these uh, wolf uh, reverse proof likes. Um, bought them from MCM and uh, they shipped them like this, which I wasn't really too happy about, but I did get one in a regular tube, so that's kind of cool. Um, next up, I have my uh, kookaburras. Um, I have uh, two of the 2015 uh, non privy and privy and then two of uh, our tube plus two of uh, the non privy and privy for 2016 so I have more 2016s I really should have got more of the 2015s those are the good ones because they're the anniversary year oh well that was one of my first purchases so I wasn't really quite sure what I was doing yet uh, next up we have the uh, the Australian uh, Kangaroo 2016. This is the first year for that. Um, I got a tube plus one of that. I'm not sure if there's 20 or 25 in the tube. I forget. Um, here's kind of the rest of those kookaburras I was talking about. Round out the stack. Um, let's go over here to this other silver. Um, got just some generic silver over here. Um, this one of the one on the left is from um, the uh, Make It Right giveaway that uh, AE Rebel and, and friends were generous enough to do. 
Uh, to the right is uh, the Duke. You got. <laughs> I bought this one at the local coin shop. It was it was just too cool to resist, you know. Um, a bunch of these are also local coin shop pickups. Um, we got the A Mark uh, Little Bar. We got the Angle Hard. We got Burbank over there on the right. Uh, it's the guy for which the city is named. That's where um, all your studios are, like Disney and whatnot, ABC. Um, we got this Las Vegas uh, Motherload Mint one, which I've never seen anybody else have those. Those are pretty cool. Um, I got kind of an older, uh, what is it, uh, Silvertown? Uh, yeah, Silvertown. Um, got a bunch of these uh, Wildlife uh, series. I kind of wish I just, I just bought all the ones, but I kind of picked and choose through here based on stuff that I was interested in. Pretty cool. I got the Winchester uh, um, one ounce uh, bar. Pretty cool little bar. We got this guy up here. Both of these have some great toning on and this one's really toned. Pretty interesting. Um, I bought five of these uh, contemporary silver towns. Nothing special, but uh, they're in their original packaging. And that's where they're going to stay. And then, uh, you know, Salivate Metal is a uh, first class guy, one of my favorite uh, YouTubers. And so when he had his, uh, his uh, silver round made, I, uh, I swooped up on it. Interestingly, this one over here that has this unusual toning, that one kind of came out of the plastic and was halfway touching the Atmex foam. So I don't know what it is inside the Atmex foam that, that off gases or has some sort of caustic or acidic uh, quality, but it did that toning to it. So uh, watch out for that, or maybe you can use that to your advantage if you're looking to tone some stuff up. And uh, it's got a really cool design with the uh, with the bore shell and all that stuff. If you're in the science or chemistry, you'll know what that is. Um, I have 19 of these prospectors. And as far as uh, generic rounds go, I think these are really just super attractive. Um, I bought a tube of these, but then gave away a few for uh, Christmas presents. And um, I'm hoping that the people I gave them to are realizing uh, what an interesting gift I gave them, one that's appreciated significantly since I gave it to them at Christmas time. And let's see, let's come over here. All right, we got the uh, Academy 10 ouncer. We also have this sphere that everybody seems to really think is interesting. It's about 20 ounces or so. We got the Monarch Precious Metal, 10 ounce, the long, long candy bar shape. We got some of these more vintage bars, this IMC, and uh, I think those are two CMI bars, but one is uh, labeled as uh, US, USS Constitution. Really an interesting bar, one of my favorites. Um, I got these little, uh, who makes these? These skull and crossbones. Um, I forget, but uh, those are some of my earliest pickups right there. Um, I think this is my biggest uh, piece of silver. RMC Kilo. It's uh, nice and shiny and uh, looks pretty good. And this one, I was really stoked when I was able to get this U.S. Assay office. They had this at my local coin shop, and you know, I just asked on a on a hope that they might have one. And sure enough, they did. And I was I only got this for I think less than a buck over spot. It was a great deal. I'm real happy about that one. Uh, here's one of these. Uh, this is a 308 uh, silver. Uh, bullion thingamajig. It doesn't quite match a 308 in size, but it's approximately that size. 
I have 308 rifles, so it was kind of cool, representative of that. Also, one of my earliest purchases, I think that was my first purchase uh, from uh, GM Bullion. Uh, nothing particularly fancy or interesting, but it was interesting to me. Um, I kind of rounded out all the uh, different Maple Leaf years and styles, just like one of each before and after uh, a couple years of the, um, the changeover in the design. Um, so I got those. And then I got some of my Mexican coinage over here. These are really cool, uh, really among my favorites. This is really what I should start focusing on. The premiums are really low and the history and the interest factor for me is just uh, just really killer. So I need to, I need to get serious about getting some of this stuff before uh, prices go out, out of the out the roof. And let's see what else do we got here. We'll take a look at this real quick. This is my Kennedy uh, quarter set. Has the four different uh, variations: the uh, the, uh, the uncirculated, the proof, the reverse proof, and the um, enhanced and circulated. Um, these are really cool. I think this set's going to do very well. Um, my dad's a numis, news, numismatist, and uh, he's not really into the bullion stuff, but he's into the, you know all this collectible stuff, and he seems to have an eye for this sort of thing. So he bought this set for me. It was really, really nice of him since uh, he saw that I was getting into uh, in the metals. All right. Um, last thing, this is also part of the giveaway from AU Rebel and friends, the uh, Make It Right. Again, thanks a lot guys, you guys are awesome. As well as uh, these constitutional, which are the only constitutionals I have. <laughs> Pretty funny, but um, yeah, I got a, uh, one of those uh, one of the Mercury Heads and Rosie. I'm not exactly sure, yeah. That's uh, not fully up, up on all that stuff but yeah this is good to have really really like this type of stuff I should really try to focus on collecting a bunch of this at, at low premium if possible all right so I think that about rounds out all the silver stuff oh I did get this this is a kind of a funny buy I bought the bought the little container there for like 40 bucks and then he threw in the coins for like 20 and the coins are actually worth more than 20 bucks in uh, dollars, uh, half dollars in Susan B. Anthony's. There's like 22 bucks in that. Plus a bunch of other stuff. There's some, uh, um, there's some like half uh, uh, euros in there. There's some, these things, these things are kind of weird. These are, uh, these fake things, these are actually fakes, they're not real, so not not worth anything, but just kind of a kind of a weird pickup that you know hap, happened to come across. Uh, some keychain from an ammo purchase, whatever. Looks like it's copper or bronze, I don't know. Anyways, alright, into the gold. So we'll start over here. Um one of my first gold pickups was that Kruger Rand. Um, next to it, I got the Austrian mustache guy. I um, forget what his name is. It's like 0.98 uh, ounces. Um, this is a uh, British Sovereign, if I'm not mistaken. And this is a rooster. Yeah, the roosters are pretty sweet. Those are like 0.2 something each. All right. Um, I got a total of five of uh, the 2015 gold um, Libertads. Picked those up when they were on sale. Pretty low on spot. They weren't. They're were probably only a couple bucks more than uh, than gold eagles. So swooped up on those it was a down day on on spot price when i bought them so that was pretty good um, 
let's see. This is a uh, Bainte Peso, 20 Peso uh, gold. Really a nice piece, uh, a lot of detail there. One of my favorites. Really has a beautiful copperish kind of color. I love it. My Centenario, which may be my favorite coin of all. Um, really like, you know, 37 grams of pure gold. That's more than uh, an ounce. It's just, it's just superb. And, uh, you know, it's a lot of, it's a lot of coin in one place, but, uh, it's, I think everybody should have one of these. They're just, they're just really neat in my opinion. And then on the other side of the spectrum is we got this little, I think this is a two, two peso gold or whatever. I mean, they're tiny and smaller than a dime. And let's see what else do we got. All right, over here to America, American coinage. Um, I got three of these gold eagles. Um, two 2016s and I think this one's a 2007. No, what is this one? 97? Yeah, 97. And uh, 2015 Buffalo Head. Wasn't really too interested in it, but uh, I bought it just so that I could say I had one. And uh, it's grown on me. It's not still not my favorite, but it's grown on me. You know, four nine gold. It's pretty cool. All right, so over here, I got um, two gold double eagles of uh, the new style and the old style. Then I got um, one single eagle, uh, one half eagle, and one. Uh, quarter eagle for both uh, the new and uh, the old style really not too sure about all this stuff this is you know again I kind of wanted to buy these before a spot picked up and probably got these for about a hundred bucks less per ounce than uh, where we're at right now so happy that I uh, got that but uh, I'm not too sure of the quality although I've paid for AUs so that should be it all right, uh, I was doing my editing and I almost forgot that uh, I have these as well. Um, over here on the left, I have a, uh, a 2015 and a 2016 regular gold maple. And then I also have the complete series of the Call of the Wild uh, gold uh, five nines uh, Canadian. This is uh, some pretty cool uh, stuff, if you ask me. Um, so we got the uh, got the uh, the howling wolf, the growling cougar, and uh, the roaring grizzly, if I'm not mistaken. Five nines gold, pretty cool. These were um, a little bit expensive when I bought the wolf, um, but I got the cougar and the uh, the Grizzly, really not all that much, only a couple bucks more than the uh, regulars, uh, uh, regular 4.9 uh, golds. So that was pretty cool. And then also, this is this is my sucker uh, dealio that I got. Not the greatest deal on. These are the, um, the uh, 20 for 20 uh, Canadian things. Um, I kind of kind of just kind of jumped on this because it was Bugs Bunny and uh, I don't think I really thought it through well enough but uh, these are like you know I think five or uh, two two uh, tenths of a or two uh, yeah two tenths of an ounce or something like that so they're there this is like maybe an ounce or something right here of silver but I paid quite a bit more than what it's worth in silver so it kind of kind of not the best thing but it's Bugs Bunny which was uh, for people of my age uh, kind of like the dominant uh, cartoon character of, uh, of our youth so um, 
Anyways, it's interesting. I'm, I'm going to hold on to these. These are kind of cool. So, And since they are, they're face value, you know, they can't go any worse than what they are. So, you know, at any rate, they're... Uh, they're, they're worth at least the, the 20 bucks I paid for them in Canadian money, which is probably not worth all that much anymore either. So, whatever. And let's see. Finally, we got these. Um, something I don't see a lot of people showing off, which is palladium. Um, I don't have any platinum yet, but uh, this is a 2009 palladium. Um, you've seen this in one of my other videos, but... Uh, Real interesting, and probably, in my opinion, one of the most interesting pieces of all is a Soviet uh, palladium coin. I have no idea what any of that means. The, the P Y E lambda E backwards in whatever that means. It's a ballerina. Everybody's uh, one of the few palladium coins out there. Anyways, um, that pretty much covers everything. Um, I believe it's over 825 ounces of silver and 24, 25 ounces of, uh, of gold. And altogether, easily over 50,000 now. Um, probably closer to 52. So, um, it's been a fun journey over this year and I uh, want to thank all you, uh, thank my 99 subscribers for watching and uh, hopefully uh, I'm still able to stack in the coming year. So um, look forward to seeing you guys out there. Enjoy watching your videos as well. Take care and uh, we'll talk to you guys later.